I'm with Scott Taylor of Sense, and I purposely went to talk to these people because they've got a way of monitoring the energy usage in your home, and it looks like it's a really intriguing idea. Tell us about it, Scott. Yeah, sure, that's right. So it's a, it's a product that installs inside the electric panel. It's a very easy 15 minute install, and it measures the electricity of the whole home, and it can also measure the solar production that's coming from panels on the roof, if you have them. What we do is we study that signal, and we're able to break that down into which appliances are coming on and off, and how much energy they're using. So that can tell you where you're wasting energy in your house, whether you're using things efficiently or not, how much of your solar energy you're using if you have solar. But it also tells you things like when your microwave was used, did you remember to close the garage door when you used it? Any, just about anything in your house that uses a signal, we can find. And Let me ask you, uh, the, the graphic, this is for audio listeners as well, the graphic is showing us uh, fridge, sump pump, solar, microwave, how is it figuring that out? So we sampled the electricity at usage at a very high rate, 41,000 times a second. And when you're looking that closely at the electric signal, you can see little unique signatures when a microwave comes on or when a front-loading washer powers up. So that's what allows us to do so, that. Yeah. So there's an, you've got algorithms that can actually uh, identify what it is by that signature. Yep, they use machine learning and based on all the homes we have installed, they're able to figure out what does this usually look like. Right? Interesting. What happens if you've got like a really old refrigerator that's you know sucking energy like crazy and you've got a brand new one, would they have similar signatures or you can tell them both? We, we can tell them both um, typically. And you know there are some appliances that are hard to find. The older ones tend to be easier in many ways. Um, but for example, a lot of people will buy a new energy efficient refrigerator, get a rebate from their utility, then they'll take the old one, put oh, it in their betcha. garage. You betcha. You betcha we do. I got a full of beer. beer no, no, I've got I got a lot more than two. But so, I have a but beer it's fridge. Using twice as much energy sometimes as the one that's up in the in the kitchen. So. Yeah, it really is. But uh, you know, it's not all about finding the appliances. It's also about giving you very real-time feedback. You know, so that's the thing that we can do by sampling and, and connecting to your Wi-Fi, is we can tell you when you turn something on, bang, there it is, even if we haven't figured it out yet. And that real-time feedback, it's kind of like a Fitbit, you know, for your house. What you measure, you will change. Yeah, exactly. It's like, wait a minute, why, you know, why did this use it? I didn't know that used so much. And, you know, it helps you find these things in your house you had no idea were using something. Would you start to notice things like, I know plasma TVs are no longer a thing, but I used to walk past a plasma TV and I'd get a sunburn. I'm, yep. I'm thinking you would be able to see, hey, wait, that LCD TV I bought is yep. hardly using anything well, in this. Uh, on our website, we've got a bunch of stories that users have posted called Sense Saves. And a, a big offender are these old, like, you know, bass amplifiers for old audio equipment. That, oh, really? You know, <laughs> oh, that's. Yeah, you know. I never thought so about that. So there's things like yeah. that that you should probably put on a smart plug or something if you're not using it all the time. Somebody so. I don't know has the TV on all day long in your house. Uh, it would show that. Uh, some TVs use more than others. If it's a new TV, it's probably not using that much. But your oh, DVD, don't tell him that. Don't your tell DVR him. box, on the other hand, is probably always using a lot of energy. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. We did a story about this a while ago where we looked at how much energy they use, and even when you turn them off, they don't save that much energy. So um, you mentioned putting it on a smart plug as a solution. That, so you've, it's like a Fitbit, it's also now what do I need to do about fixing it, not, right. not just what's wrong. Yeah. I mean, some things you can just remember to turn them off uh, or use them less often. Uh, but or, or upgrade the appliance because it's old and inefficient, like a dehumidifier. Uh, but other things you have to use, but you say something like a DVR that's on all the time and it's always sucking energy, why not put it on a smart plug and on a schedule that powers it on at 3 in the afternoon or whenever I'm about to start watching TV? Uh, I need it to record MASH at 3 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, but it's whatever works for you. But, but smart plugs can help, and we can actually talk to smart plugs too so that you can see them in the app and turn them off and on. Oh, that's cool. So looking at the physical devices here, it, what I'm seeing is a, a red box, maybe size of a, a, a couple cell phones back to back. It looks like it's got an antenna on it. This is what goes inside the, uh, in the, the circuit breaker box, Yep, this right? installs, this goes inside the panel. There's two clamps that you put around the main feed from the utility. So you don't need to wire up every breaker, which would take forever. You just put two clamps in around the main feed from the utility. Right oh, it's right here, there. Here's Steve. Yep. Steve? Yeah. All right. No, look, watch right here. It's a clamp. Yeah. Okay. Now you'll see in this picture we've got two more clamps 
And those are for measuring the solar that's coming into this panel, okay? If you, if you don't have solar, you don't need the two extra clamps. And then you also have to wire it into uh, a 240 volt breaker so that we can see the voltage on the house as well, okay? Now, this is inside the panel and it's, you know, it's live electricity. It should be an electrician. A lot of electrically handy people can do it themselves, but it should be electrician. We're engineers, so we might be able to do it. So and now, what is the wristband I see on the... Usually only a 15-minute install for somebody who knows what they're doing. So. Okay, cool. What are the wristbands then? These are just uh, our, our gift uh, to you. <laughs> it's a USB drive that's got the press kit on it. Oh, okay. I thought, wow, is it going to shock me when I turn the TV on too many times? Yeah. It looks kind of like a Fitbit, and we think we're kind of like the Fitbit for the house. Right? I like it. So I haven't described for the audio listeners that the display that we're looking at is, is a bubble chart. Yep. So the EV charger, for example, is a giant bubble. The HVAC is a smaller one. Solar is pretty big. The fridge is actually pretty little. So you're, you've got a good graphical interface, and then you can drill down into each one you of the devices. Go, yeah, you can drill down into the devices and see what each one used last month, last week. You can look at monthly reports, weekly reports, daily reports. We'll send you, you can set alerts. Tell me when the oven's been on for more than two hours, things like that. that. Means I forgot, because yeah. <laughs> I don't bake anything that long. Thanksgiving, yeah. yeah there you go. Um, what, I, what I like about this is that it's at the electrical box. I've heard about these devices you can put where you put it between the TV and the wall, uh, TV yeah. and the outlet. It's like, okay, now I know what that is. Now I gotta unplug it from there and I gotta exactly. plug it in the next thing. Yeah. And I just know I'm gonna do like two of those and I'm gonna give up and stop playing. Right, that's exactly but This right. gives you situational awareness relative to each other, like you said, like this TV is worse than that TV or this fridge that I have in the garage with my 85 cans of beer is using a lot of energy, exactly right? Exactly right, exactly right. And for the things that we haven't found yet, you can just look at the real-time thing when we tr you turn it on or unplug it and see how much it was using because you can see the wattage change. We've also got a en energy nerd view, as I call it, the power meter, which just shows you the overall power consumption and solar production. So it's graphically over time going real yeah, time. So if you go flip lights on and off, you can see how much it's going up and down. Oh, right? so that is really cool. So the company is called Sense? It's called Sense, yep. Okay, and where would people go to find out more? Um, you can go to sense.com to find out more. You can buy the product there. You can buy the product on Amazon. Oh, you can. It's already available. Yep. Oh, great. And can I ask your price point? Two ninety nine for the standard version, an extra fifty dollars for the clamps for solar. If you wow, yes. that is fantastic. I think that's uh, that's something I'm really interested in. I know a lot of our uh, listeners are interested in saving energy too. Fantastic. Great. Thank All you right. very much, Scott. Thank you.